Uh, I was studying Buddhism with actually with Geshe Sonar Minchin, who's um, uh, who gave me my name actually. And tell everyone the story of your name and how is it that he gave you your um, name? In a ceremony in which I, it's called taking refuge. So when one decides to um, follow the teachings of the Buddha as the primary inspiration on their spiritual path. There's a formal ceremony for taking refuge, and, and in the Tibetan culture, maybe in all the Buddhist cultures, I'm not sure, the, um, the Lama, the teacher who does that, confers a name. And in the Tibetan culture, they confer a part of their own name. So his name is Sonam Rinchen, and so he named me Rinchen Wangmo, which means precious, empowered woman. Beautiful. Yeah. And you shared with me that the Buddhists will change their name at different points yeah. in their life. Yeah. So yeah. tell us a little bit about that. I think that's really interesting. I mean, if, if some Tibetans who, um, when they come into exile and the first time they meet His Holiness the Dalai Lama, they take a new name because it's like a new chapter in life. It's considered such a blessing to meet him. Others, when they're ill, and, or they have some obstacle in life and they want to have a fresh start, they'll ask the Lama for a new name. So, um, and I like that it's, it, it shows how identity is fluid. You know, it's not fixed.